So once we're on our mat, we are going to just go ahead and sit. And I want to start with my legs nice and straight and my feet dorsiflex. So we really want to warm up our spine today. So I sit up nice and tall, arms long, shoulders down and back. And take a nice deep inhale. And as I exhale, just spine stretching forward, going forward, 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 stretch, stretch. Spine go as far as I can. And I'm just going to hang out here for a second feeling any kind of stretching through the back of the legs and the hamstrings, as well as through my back. And then as I exhale, rounding and stacking that spine up, one vertebrae at a time to dive forward again. Inhale, exhale, stretching forward. And again, try to keep these shoulders in the socket. If I hyperextend and pop those shoulders out of the socket, can you see how I rounded my back? So really just making sure that the spine is rounded but those shoulders are still nice and engaged. And exhale, <sighs> stacking that spine up one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to place my left hand beside me on the floor. Shoulders are still down and back. And as I exhale, just feel my side bend over. Keeping my right shoulder again down and back in the socket because this right shoulder is going to want to fall forward. So really just keeping it back. Coming back straight up, and let's try that again. So exhale, side bending over, and then just trying to kiss my bottom ribs to my hip as I go all the way down and back up. Beautiful. One more. All the way over, 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 over. Stretch, 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 stretch. Back up, and now let's do the other side. Now my right hand is going to go on the floor, and then I side bend to the right. My left arm is coming overhead. Left shoulder down and back. Ah, again, resisting that urge for that shoulder to fall forward. Inhale, sit back up tall. And then exhaling all the way over. Stretch, 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 stretch. Ah, kissing those bottom ribs to my hip. Come back up and let's do our last one. Stretching over, 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 over. That lovely reach. Beautiful. Just hang out here for just a second. Inhale, back up. All right, for this next one, I'm going to leave my left leg long, take my right foot, and put my right foot outside my left knee. So I'm in this kind of crisscross position. From here, your left elbow is going to go on the outside of the right knee. So we're just bending you into a pretzel. Right hand is going to go behind you, and as I gently press with my left elbow into my right knee, I'm gonna look over my shoulder to the right. So just getting that nice stretching rotation of our spine, getting everything really nice and warmed up as we get ready for our day. Nice deep inhale. Now as I exhale, release, send this right leg long, bend the left leg. So now my left foot is on the outside of my right knee. Take my right elbow, put it outside the left knee, bend into a pretzel the other way. Left hand goes behind, and again, gently pressing that left elbow into my right knee as I look over my shoulder. Looking, 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 feeling that lovely stretch. And again, starting to notice if one side feels tighter than the other. Beautiful. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, release. We're going to do that one more time on either side. So again, left leg straight, right leg over, outside left knee, left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and then rotate. And if that pressing of the left elbow into the right knee doesn't feel good for you, then don't worry about it. Just focus on rotating that torso and your head to the right. Perfect. Nice deep inhale. <sighs> Exhale, come back to center. Right leg goes straight, bend the left leg, set that foot down. Now, left foot on the outside of the right knee, right elbow outside the left knee as I exhale and rotate. Again, if we didn't press into that left knee on, uh, right knee on the other side, don't do it on this side. Just do whatever feels good for you in your body today. Getting as much rotation as we can. Ah, nice deep inhale, deep exhale, inhale, and release back to center. Beautiful. 
you need to do any other kind of stretches, that's fine. So now we're going to get to the good stuff. So I'm going to be at an angle because, as you all know, my space is a little on the narrow side, and I don't want to kick anything. So I'm going to be at an angle. I'm going to come up onto my knees in a high kneeling position. So my hips are neutral. My knees are right below my hips. And I'm sitting up tall, shoulders down and back. Perfect. So now, as I exhale, I'm just going to send my left hand to the floor. So if you're looking straight on, I look like this. And my right knee has just naturally come up off the floor. That's exactly what we want. So now my right knee is up off the floor, I'm going to lift it straight out. Shoulders are down and back. So I'm just going to do some lifts and lowers. Try really hard on this lower. Do not touch that foot to the floor, whether it be your yoga mat or the carpet. Now, if you need a little break, that's fine. Feel free to take it. But we really want to focus on trying to warm up this leg and feeling our core, feeling the shoulder, and keeping everything in that nice Pilates alignment. Beautiful. Four more. So four, three, two, one. Set that leg down, dorsal flex the foot, and I'm going to put body weight into there. My top arm is going to come down and the fingertips are going to touch the floor. Now, take a nice deep inhale, and as I exhale, bring that bottom leg up to touch the top leg. Here's your inner thighs. Good morning. You're welcome. <sighs> and then feeling this lovely stretch and this work. If you want to make it take it up a notch, bring that arm, top arm up to the sky. Four more. Four and three and two and one. Set that leg down. Ooh, come on up. So now I'm in this kind of half kneeling, half splits position. And I'm just going to counter stretch over. Really just sending my body along the right over that leg, keeping this leg straight, but not locking out the knee. Perfect. From here, inhale, exhale, come back over. We're not done yet. Lift that right leg up and just give me some little pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. Feeling that leg in line with our spine. You could look if you need to. Just the outer thigh, outer booty. Give that nice work, squeeze the booty, and hopefully by squeezing the booty, you can feel your left glute kicking on. Four more, four, three, two, one. Set that foot down. Again, if you need to, both hands down. Now, lift that bottom leg up and give me little pulses. Pulse, pulse, lift, pulse, inner thighs, pelvic floor, core, all working really hard. Beautiful. Four more, four, three, Two, one, set it down, come on up, give that wrist a break, and counter stretch over. And hopefully you're feeling this lovely stretch through the side of the body. I think it's fine, I love these. I don't have a name for this, so if you can think of one, let me know after class. You guys know I'm really bad at naming things. <laughs> so now I come over, I'm gonna lift this leg up parallel, bring the leg forward, and then kick it back. Again, trying to keep those hips in as much of neutral as possible. We're going to shift just a wee bit from the nature of the movement, but that's okay. You guys are awesome. All right. Good point, ladies. And again, trying to keep this leg as parallel as possible. The leg's going to get heavy and want to droop. So trying to resist that urge. Three more. Three. And two. And one. Beautiful, set that leg down. Again, if you need to, set your fingertips down. Pull that bottom leg up and hold. Hold, 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 hold. You got this, really squeeze those inner thighs together. Feel your core. <sighs> For four, three, two, one. Set that leg down. <sighs> Come on up and then counter stretch over. Beautiful, you guys did so great. I think that's fun. <sighs> So now when I come up, I'm going to sit down in a Z-sit or a mermaid, depending on how you learn this. So my left hand's in front, my right hand is out to the side. Left hand again goes on the floor. And now I'm going to take a nice deep inhale and exhale, just mermaiding over. You can bend this arm down if you want or leave it straight and come back up. 
<sighs> nice little active stretch for a moment. It's probably your belt thumping from all those little side leggy things we just did. So over, back up, all the way over, and back up. Two more, and then we'll add some rotation in. Over, stretch, 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 and up. Last one, all the way over, and back up. Beautiful, now let's thread the needle. So I'm gonna side bend as far over as I can with my mermaid. Rotate to look at the floor. So move back to my mermaid, and then up to a seated position. Let's try it again. Exhale all the way over. <sighs> Rotate, look at the floor. Back to my side bend, and then up. Beautiful. All the way over. Rotate. Back to my side bend, and up. Now let's add on to this. So, mermaid over, my bottom forearm is on the ground. Rotate. Now, if you can, set both forearms on the ground. From here, I'm going to lift my chest up as much as I can. Inhale, exhale, lift this top leg, stretch it out really, really, really long, bend it back in, set it down, and then come back to seated. Perfect. So we're just kind of working on that hip mobility today. So we're rotating, setting both forearms down if you can. Lift that top leg in your chest and stretch, 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 stretch. And like you can see on me, it's okay if that right elbow sticks up a little bit. Bend the knee, set it down, come back to my mermaid, and up one more, and then we'll add on. So all the way over, rotate, lifting the chest and the leg, stretch, 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 stretch. Set everything down, rotate, and back up. Beautiful. Now we'll start doing something. So I'm gonna slightly over, rotate, set my forearms down, lift the chest, lift the leg, bring it into tabletop, press that leg long, stretch it away, and then pull it back to tabletop. Press it out and pull it back to tabletop. Again, trying to keep this leg parallel to the floor as I go out and in. Beautiful, ladies, just like that. Four more. So four and three. And two, and the last one, bring it in, set it down, go back to my side bend, all the way up. Now, just for a second, give me a nice counter stretch. So now I'm stretching to the right. This one's going to feel a little awkward. You're not going to be as bendy on this side. So we just kind of want to stretch the side of the body out, give the shoulder a little bit of a break. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, come back up. Let's try something a little different. So now when I mermaid over, rotate, both of my forearms go to the ground. Again, pick up that top leg, send it long, and give me some leg circles. My favorite. <laughs> As always, like we do in class, I'm rotating from my hip socket, not my foot. That way I'm making sure all those nice big muscles in my lower body are active. Beautiful. Two more in this direction. And then let's go the other way. Yeah. Excellent. And hopefully you're feeling some little micro shakes in that leg. We're doing stuff. Four more. So four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring it in. Set it down. Come back to my mermaid. Up. Give me one other side stretch. Don't worry, we've set one more before we move on. So mermaiding over. Rotate both forearms down. Pick that top leg up, send it long in line with my spine, and then kick backwards. Feeling the booty, feeling the hamstring. You're also going to feel outer thigh still, but okay. We're kicking backwards. We're getting all those muscles of the leg. Kick and kick. Making sure I'm still keeping my hips in neutral for this, though. Perfect. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Ah, bend it in, set it down. Come back to my mermaid. Up. One final counter stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. Come back up. And we're going to land on our back. Don't worry. I didn't forget about that other side. <sighs> so we're laying on our back. Beautiful. Get yourself all situated. Hips neutral. Then both legs straight up to the sky. Tuck that chin. Arms can be wherever you need. Inhale. Exhale. Chest lift up. 
and down. Again, as I chest lift up, relaxing the neck as much as humanly possible. So exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. If you need to, bend those knees, kick it out for a second. So we're gonna add on to this. So now, both legs up. One leg starts at 45. Inhale, and exhale, chest lift up. Come all the way out of your chest lift, both legs to 90. Drop the other leg, chest lift up. And then, repeat. So exhale up, both legs up, other leg down, chest lift up, and just rotating. Beautiful, excellent. And then up, and then down. One more per side. Up, down, up, down. And again, if you need to, shake it out for a second. Perfect. Now let's increase that intensity just a little bit. Both legs up. Now as I chest lift, lower a leg. As I come up, lift and scissor. So now we're scissoring the leg as we come up and as we come down. Beautiful, just like that. Again, neck is relaxed. Core is doing all the work, feeling those lower abs now that we're getting those scissors in. Beautiful, four more. So four and three and two. And one. Excellent. Oh, shake it out. Roll one up. Now, we have the other side to do. So, I'm going to come on up again. I'm going to be at an angle. Lift the bottom from running out space. High heel. Neutral hips. Neutral spine. And again, exhale, coming all the way over. Perfect. Now, lift that top leg and give me those lifts and lowers. And lifts and lowers. And again, if you need to, peek over your shoulder to make sure that that top leg is in line with your spine. Beautiful. For those of you that have your cameras on, you're looking great. Nice deep inhales, <sighs> deep exhales, neutral hips, core is on, shoulders down and back, four more. So four, three, two, one. Set this leg down, dorsiflex. Put weight into it. Top arm comes down, fingertips touch the floor, and lifts and lower that bottom leg. There's our inner thighs, there's our pelvic floor again. And if you'd like, take that top arm up. Adds to the balance challenge, adds to the intensity. Four more, four, and three, and two, and one. Set it down, come on up, give that wrist a break, and then stretch the other way. Again, my left leg is straight, it's not bent or locked. Keep that lovely little stretch. Come back up. Now we have those pulses. So again, lift that leg up and a little pulse. Little pulse, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Beautiful. Again, outer thigh, outer booty. Just loving this. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Set that leg down. If you need to, fingertips touch the floor. Bring that bottom leg up. For little pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. Four, three, two, one. Set it down. Come on up. Shake that wrist out if you need it. Go ahead, stretch that stretch. Excellent. We just have one more of each of those. So come back into this position. Bring the leg front. Come back. Again, trying to keep those hips in neutral as much as possible, and this leg parallel to the ground. Like I said before, it's gonna get heavy and wanna droop. So try to keep that leg as high as you can. Really live in that outer thigh, outer booty. Beautiful, four more. Four, and three, and two, and one. Bring that leg back, set it down. If you need to, fingertips down. Bring that leg up and hold. Bottom leg is not touching anything. <sighs> Just enjoy this. It's awesome for four, three, two, one. Set that leg down. Come up. Final counter stretch. <sighs> and again, you can add some rotation to it if you feel like you need it. Whatever feels good. 
for you and your body. Nice deep inhales, exhale. Another deep inhale, <sighs> exhale up. Perfect. So now let's come into our mermaid on this side. So again, now my right chin is in front. Left chin is parallel to my body. And again, I'm just going to mermaid over and back up. Perfect. Mermaiding all the way over. Right forearm can be on the floor if you'd like. Or if you'd prefer to keep that arm straight for now, that's okay as well. All the way over. Get that lovely stretch. And back up. All the way over. Lovely stretch. And back up. Two more, and then we'll add on. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Shoulder down and back. And up. Last one before rotation. All the way over. Stretch, 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 stretch. And back up. Now let's rotate. Mermaid over. Rotate to look at the floor. Back to my mermaid. And up. Side bend, mermaid over. Rotate, look at the floor. Back to the side. And up. Beautiful. Over, rotate, back to mermaid, and up two more, all the way over, rotate, back to center, and up, beautiful, last one, rotate, back to center, and up. Now we're going to touch those elbows down, so rotate, or lift, mermaid, rotate, set both elbows down, lift your chest up. Lift that left leg, stretch it out behind you, bring it back to bent, set it down, lower the chest, come back to mermaid, and up. Beautiful. Again, exhale, mermaid over, rotate both forearms on the ground, chest lift up, lift that back leg, stretch it away, long, 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 bend, lower the chest, come back to mermaid, and up. Two more. All the way over, stretch, rotate, lift the chest and that top leg, bend and lower down, rotate, and up, last one, all the way over, rotate, lift the chest and that leg, up, 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 bend, set down, rotate, and up. Now let's get to the good stuff. So, rotate over, or er, pardon me, mermaid over, rotate, Lift that leg, bring it into tabletop, press it out along, and bend it into tabletop. Beautiful. Again, keeping this leg parallel to the ground the entire time. So you really want to keep it as parallel as possible so we don't put any unnecessary pressure on the hips and our low back. Beautiful. Four more. So four. And three. And two. And one, bring it in, set that leg down. Come all the way up, give me a nice counter stretch. Feeling now this right side, stretch on out. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, come up. Now let's go to circle town. Mermaid over, rotate, lift the chest and the top leg up, and again, make our circles. It's okay if you're starting the circle a different direction than the other. We're gonna even it out in the wash. Or if maybe this side circle is in the circle, that's fine. Again, we just want to rotate from the hip socket and not the foot. So hopefully you can see that difference on camera. Big, beefy muscles of the legs working hard, nothing happening. So there's that difference. The two more. One, two, and then the other way. And it's okay if one direction your circles are like, these aren't circles. That's fine. They're a shape. They're something. I think what I can get. Perfect. Ah, nice deep inhales, deep exhales, four more. So four, three, two, one, bend, set that leg down. Come back to the side, all the way up, and counter stretch over. Hope you're feeling the shoulder a little bit. So give this arm a little stretch. Ah, come back up. Now all we have are those rear kicks. So again, mermaid over, rotate. Lift the chest and that top leg, and then kick the top leg back behind you, getting the glutes, the hamstrings, and still that outer thigh, but still maintaining neutral hips. So you don't want to put any pressure in that low back. Perfect. Parallel leg as we kick back. Maybe you're feeling so good today. Beautiful. So four 
three, two, one. Bend that knee, bring it down. Come into mermaid, come all the way up. One final counter stretch, over, over, over. Oh, excellent. Deep inhale, deep exhale, perfect. Now, I'm just gonna come onto my tummy. So, oof, there we go. Now, always when we're on our tummy, we wanna make sure hips are neutral or an imprint, and my belly button is pulling up to the sky. My hands and forearms are gonna be on the floor. I'm gonna look and have my nose or forehead touch the carpet. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, just sphinx up. If it feels good for you in your body, you can come into a full swan and then come on down. But again, just listening to that low back. Doing whatever feels good for you in your body. A good rule of thumb, if it feels uncomfortable, don't do it. And also make sure that our hips are in neutral or that imprint. Beautiful. Up. Down. Down, down. Up. And down. We're just going to do two more. Up. And down. Last one. Up. And then down. Excellent. So now we're just going to make sure that we're all nice in position. I'm going to stretch my arms out in front of me. Take a nice deep inhale. And as I exhale, I'm going to Wonder Woman or Superman up. Shoulders are down and back, but I'm lifting my arms to about chin or ear height, whatever feels good, and I'm lifting these legs too. So we're just gonna hang out here. <sighs> Cause we're gonna start moving here in a minute. So we're gonna be grateful for this time when we're not doing anything. <sighs> so hold this for four, three, two, one. Oh, come on down. We're just gonna do one more just to make sure we have the base pattern down before we start adding on. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, Superman or Wonder Woman up. I like to call them Wonder Woman, but sometimes someone looks at me like, what is that? <laughs> so we're just stretching those fingers and those toes away. And we're just gonna hang out here for a count of four. So four, three, two, one, and come on down, shake it out. All right, now I'm gonna move my arms beside me. Try to look kind of like a W. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale. Now, when I Superman up, I've got this W arm. From here, if this is as far as I want to go, stay here. This is awesome. If I want a little bit more intensity, I'm going to lift and lower the arms slowly. I really want to feel these upper back muscles. I want to feel my rhomboids, which are holding my shoulder blades to my spine. I want to feel the back of my shoulders, those are your belt, and my trapezius. So if you do it really fast, it's kind of hard to keep that good form. So shoulders are down and back, scapulas are set in that scapular pocket. Four more, so four, and three, and two, and one. Come on down, beautiful. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Now, nice deep inhale, deep exhale, Another deep, deep inhale, exhale, go ahead and Wonder Woman up. My arms are in my W. Now press those arms overhead and pull them back in. Press overhead and pull back in. Remember this if you can, because on Saturday, we're going to add on to this. So this is our base move that we're learning. And then we'll add some goodies to it in a few days. And don't worry, if you completely forget, that's why I'm here. So four more, four, and three, and two, and one. <sighs> Come on down, beautiful. I'm gonna curl my toes under, put my hands under my shoulder, and press up into a quadruped, hands and knees. From here, I'm just gonna do some cat cow. So I'm just articulating that spine. As always, when we do these, if you're more of a side to side, type of person that's fine too. Or if there's a combination of any of those that feels good, feel free to do that. So this is your opportunity to stretch your spine out before we get into some awesome planks today. Perfect. So all the way up and down, all the way up and down. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna curl my toes under, 
Hands are still under shoulders. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, knee hover out. We're just gonna hang out here. Hang out, just knee hover. Do, 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 do. Don't worry, we're only gonna hang out here for a count of 10. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set those knees down. If you'd like, you can sink into a child's pose. If you wanna do some more cat cows, or if there's another stretch that's really calling to you, feel free to do that now. This is your time to just listen to your body and give it whatever it needs. <sighs> this next time is a plank. Perfect. All right. So now I'm going to come back to my quadruped. I'm going to move forward just a little bit so I don't kick anything. Step that left leg out. Step the right leg out. Now I'm in my full blown plank. And I'm going to do what's called a chaturanga plank. So I'm going to lower halfway down into a push up. Count two, three, and then press up. So lower halfway down. One, two, three, and back up. If that's too hard, come down onto your knees. Makes it a lot easier. And back up. Now, I'll let you count this as fast or as slow as you want. As long as you're counting to three, I'm a happy camper. Give me two more. So all the way down, or halfway down for me. One, two, three, back up. Chaturanga down. One, two, three, back up. And again, oh, sink into whatever stretch feels good for you and your body. Again, it can be whatever stretch for whatever is feeling a little bit grumpy. Because I think I'm the only one on the call today that likes planks. <laughs> so, all right. Now, I'm going to come into an elbow plank. So, my forearms are going to be on the ground. Curl those toes under. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, elbow plank up. I'm going to do shoulder pro and retraction. So just lifting and lowering my shoulders. So eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, one. And then again, come into whatever stretch feels good. Now we're going to try that again on our hands, just so that way we can get a little more intensity in the shoulders and the upper back. But again, take a break, stretch out, whatever feels good for you. Perfect. All right. So stretch, head stretch, last point of the day. So again, if you can, come onto your hands. Inhale, exhale, plank up, and give me that shoulder pro and retraction. I kind of find it a little easier in this position. So we do eight and seven and six and five and four and three, and two, and one. Whew, come on down. Again, stretch out however feels good for you and your body. Whatever might be feeling tight or stiff. You guys are awesome. Pat yourself on the back. All right. Now, if you have a wall handy, we're gonna do some wall bridges. Meaning, I'm just gonna put my feet on the wall. If you don't have a wall handy, you can go on the floor. Say okay. So, again, for me, I'm going to put my legs in tabletop with my feet flat against the wall. Arms are wherever they need to be, hips neutral. Nice deep inhale, exhale, bridging up and then down. Again, if you don't have a wall handy, don't worry about it. Put those feet on the ground. So, bad job, just make sure that it's interesting. So you can either articulate or hinging bridge here, whatever feels good for you and your body. All the way up and down, all the way up and down. Beautiful guys, just like that. Three more. So three and two and last one. Perfect. Now I'm going to leave my left leg where it's at. My right ankle is going to rest on my left knee. So it kind of looks like I'm about to do a four-point stretch. But instead, I'm going to bridge. So now when I bridge up, I'm pressing that right knee away from my chest without dipping the hips. And then come down. So again, exhale, bridge up, press that right knee away, and come down. 
So you're feeling both legs be super active while we still keep those hips parallel. So bridge and press, and then come down. Bridge and press, and then come down. Three more. Up, bridge and press, and down. Up, bridge and press, come down. Last one. Up, bridge and press, and come down. Beautiful. So now I'm going to swap legs. Right leg goes on the wall, left ankle rests on that right knee. Again, like I'm about to do my stretch, but instead I'm going to inhale, exhale, bridge and press that left knee away, and then come down. And this is also where you might start to notice that one side is tighter than the other, or does it have that same mobility to press out? <sighs> Beautiful. So up and press. Again, still feeling both sides of the body working hard. So up and press, and down, up, press, and down, three more, up, press, 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 and down, two more, up, press, 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 and down, last one, up, press, 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 and down, perfect. Now I'm going to put my left foot back on the wall, right leg is going to go straight up to a 90, or whatever version feels good for you in your body. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, bridge up and down. If you need to, you can leave this foot kind of skimming the wall a little bit if it feels better for you. Beautiful. Up and down, three more. Up and down, up and down. Last one, up and down, swap legs. So right foot on, left foot up. Again, whatever feels good for you, inhale. Exhale, bridge up and down. Again, if you need to, you can put that foot along the wall if it feels good for you in your body. <sighs> and up and down. And up and down. Three more. Up and down. Two more. Up and down. Last one. Up and down. <sighs> if you need to, rock those knees side to side. Your shirt, sneak it up. You can sneak it back down. Final thing. So, grand finale for all the glitter. Right leg up against my 90. Inhale, exhale, bridge up, pause, open the leg out to the side, back to center, and down. So, we're moving that right leg like a windshield wiper. Perfect, ladies, just like that. Open, close, down. Three more. Bridge up, open, close, down. Two more. Bridge, open, close, down. Last one. Up, out, in, down. Beautiful. Now we'll try it on the left side. So right leg on the wall, left leg up, bridge up, open out to the side, back to center, and down. Up, out like windshield wiper, back in, and down. Up, out, in, down. Three more. Up, out, in, down. Two more. Up, out, in, down, last one, up, out, in, and down. If you need to, hug those knees to your chest. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna scoop back just so you can see me on camera a little bit better. All right, so now, drop those knees a little bit. Hopefully you didn't hear my back pop just now. <laughs> All right, so kind of going back to how we did our abs earlier, one leg is going to be at a 90, the other leg is going to be at a 45. Tuck your chin and give me some chest lifts. So up and down, exhale up and down, relaxing that neck. You need two hands can be behind the head for two more. One, two, set those legs down, take a breather, and swap. So now my left leg is up, the right leg is out as I chest lift up. And down. Chest lift up and down. Hands can be again wherever they need to be as you come up and down. Two more. Last one. <sighs> Shake it out. All right. Now we can both legs go straight out. And if that doesn't feel good, don't worry about it. So both legs out. Chest lift up and down. Feeling those low abs. If you need to, bring those legs to tabletop or even the Better yet, put them on the floor. So just listen to that low back and do 
whatever feels good for you. Three more. Three, two, one. <sighs> Bring it in. Take it out. Do whatever stretch feels good. We have one more little grand finale for our core, and then we can move on. <sighs> Excellent. All right. So now I'm going to bring both my legs up to my 90. Very familiar. But I'm going to practice doing what's called a helicopter. So one leg goes down, and I'm going to make a semicircle in opposite directions. So I'm kind of like making two letter C's with my legs. And I just want to practice this a little bit before I get into the actual chest lift. Those look great. Perfect. All right. So now, one leg at a 45, one at a 90. As I chest lift up, make my helicopter. And then as I chest lift up the next time, make those blades go the other way. So helicopter and down, chest lift up, helicopter and down. Two more. Helicopter and down, helicopter and down. Beautiful. Excellent. So inhale, grab your knees with your hands, point those toes. Inhale, exhale, roll like a ball up. We set those feet down. And I'm going to come back into that Z sit position that we started the day in. So in this Z sit, for me, I just got my right chin in front, left to the side. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, I'm just going to forward fold over and stretch it out for a little bit. Trying to put my nose or my forehead to the floor or my yoga mat as I come all the way down. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Now, if I can, I'm going to walk my forearm to the right. So my right shin was in front. I'm going to go to the right. Begin just stretching out as far as I can. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. I'm going to walk back to center and do one more little stretch. And as I exhale, slowly articulate my spine back up. I'm going to move my right leg out to the side and come into a prayer pose. So both the bottoms of my feet are touching one another. Now from here, again, roll forward. Try to touch the nose of your forehead to the floor, your toes or however far they go. This is always that one where we're like, oh, we're a little bit more flexible, but it's okay. If for any reason you can't get all the way down and you want to deepen the stretch a little bit, your hands can go on the inside of your knees and very, very gently press down towards the floor. I say gently because sometimes I see people that shove their, their knees down and oh, good golly, we don't want to have an injury. So I'm still looking at the ground and I'm trying to my nose down as I gently press those hands to the floor, opening up the inner thigh and the pelvic floor area. Ah, nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up. Now the next time I roll forward, I'm going to pick a side to rotate to. And again, we'll even it out, so don't worry what side you pick. So again, exhale, roll forward as far as I can. And now, I take a nice deep inhale, exhale, rotate to one way. You can either lift that arm overhead or keep it bent. It's whatever. This one's kind of hard to get a good rotation in, in this position. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, go the opposite way. And again, bringing that awareness to the body of, can you rotate as far on one side as you could the other? Again, it's an awkward position, but you'll notice those little nuances in the body. Come back to center. Go to the left again, rotate, 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 arm up or down, whatever feels good. Back to center, rotate the other way. Hold here, feel that nice deep rotation. Inhale, exhale, one last inhale, exhale, come back to center. Back that spine up one more at a right time. And now we're going to do the Z sit or mermaid sit on the other side. Now I've got my left shin in front, right beside me. Nice deep inhale and exhale, melting forward. Trying to put my nose or my forehead to the floor or the yoga mat. Oh, just getting that lovely stretch. It's okay if you don't get down very far. Again, this is just us getting all nice and ready for the rest of your morning. Now taking my forearms, I'm slowly going to start to walk 
my way to the left. Walking to the left. And again, trying to lower down as far as I can. Kind of reminiscent of when we started our day. That lovely stretch again. You can maybe you can touch your forehead and your nose to the carpet. That's awesome. Nice inhale, exhale, walk myself back to center, kind of lower down as much as I can. Perfect. And then slowly come back up. Now, I'm going to straighten this left leg. And I'm going to leave my right leg bent because I want to try to stretch out my quads and hip flexors a little bit. So to do that, my hands are going to go behind me. And I'm going to slowly lower myself down as far as I can go. For me, so I can see you, I'm going to stay on my forearms. So I look something like this. But if you'd like, you can come all the way down and lie down. And again, hopefully you can start to feel that lovely stretch through the quad as we go down. <sighs> Sometimes we do a stretch like this with legs and straps on the reformer, and it always feels so good. Nice deep inhale, exhale, slowly start to walk yourself up. I'm going to straighten both legs, hands stay behind me, hands pointing whatever way they need to to feel comfortable, and now I'm just going to bend those elbows back. So I'm just lowering my upper body to the ground, stretching out those shoulders, the upper back, and those arms a little bit. Trying to keep my elbows tight to one another. The elbows are going to want to flare out, but we don't want too much pressure on those shoulders. So trying to keep my elbows parallel, where they're going to straight back. Perfect. If you want, you can give yourself a little pulse. If you can loosen it up a little bit more. And then exhale, press up. Now, I'm going to, again, bend my left knee. So the right leg is straight, left is bent, and walk myself for you guys. You can walk down on your forearms, or if you can, all the way down. So again, whatever feels good, just doing that lovely stretch and opening up. Like I said, I'm just getting my forearms, just for the audio, so you can see and hear me. But again, feeling the top of this leg, get a good stretch. All right. Now, if you can, keep the left leg where it's at and bend the right leg too. You may have to come all the way up for this. And we're going to deepen that stretch. So very slowly and carefully lower yourself down. Woo, feel that difference? Yeah. Again, if you can, come all the way down. And if your body is like, ha, 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 that's not happening, that's okay. You can just stay on your forearms or your hands, but hopefully we're feeling that deeper stretch. Oh, okay, you're right, y'all are very bendy. Keep with you, those are great. Nice deep inhale, exhale very slowly, because we're super bending into a pretzel here. Come all the way up. I like to push with my fingertips up to get me back onto my knees, curl the toes under, sink back onto those heels, slowly press up to standing. Wall is here if you need it, because we've been on the ground a lot today. I'm going to stand up nice and tall, stretch my arms overhead. But before I do a roll down, I'm just going to press my arms as far back as I can as I slowly start to lower those elbows towards the floor. Just really stretching out that back of the body. This is one that if you have a wall handy, you can do up against the wall to really make sure you're pushing backwards into the wall. So just pressing down and back. And it's okay if your arms come back behind you like this. So pressing down and back, 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 back. Really just opening the chest and stretching the back. One more. All the way down, 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 down. And back, up, 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 up. Once my arms are up, as I exhale, I'm going to start to roll forward one vertebrae at a time. Ah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Not. You can shake your head yes, shake your head no, shake arms, shake your shoulders, shake your booty, shake those legs. Oh, nice deep inhale, exhale, articulate up one vertebrae at a time until you're back to standing. 